engineer. I'm yet to see any relations of Engineer Olayemi, particularly his wife. Yes. The children study abroad, but their mother is not around due to one reason or the other. Oh, I see. But you see, he's in a very critical condition. The last operation we performed on him was not successful. So I met with my colleagues and we have the opinion that he would go through another operation. Please, go ahead. I'm ready to foot the bill. I know, engineer. But we still need the, the, the approval of his family before we can go ahead. Okay, I see what I can do to that. Okay. Engineer, when I touch your foot with this cartel and you feel any pain, or any sensation, just blink your eye, okay? No, 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 no. You see, I'm still carrying out an investigation. You can, as you can see, he was unable to feel the, the scapel from the legs down to the thigh region, which means the nerves are dead. Which means there is a weakness from the back downwards. And he may be unable to walk on his own unaided. My God. Does it mean my friend will be bedridden for life? Oh, no, no, no. Just keep praying for him, engineer. I keep on praying. Yes, yes, it is necessary. I keep on praying. We can't just... Does it mean Olayemi will spend the rest of his life on a wheelchair? He will need someone to feed him. <laughs> it's going to be tough for him. Nobody knows where his wife is. We've all searched for her without sources. Even if we organize a nurse, or houseboy to look after him. What about the psychological effect of not having his wife around him? Honestly, I can't concentrate any longer. I think I better take it easy. I must look for Mrs. Olayemi at all costs. I'm not going to tell you where Bikola is. Period! Awailo, oh, please tell us where she is. You know, this is our third time of coming here. Please, you want to know where Bikola is? Because I'm the only one taking care of my brother and the children. We'll be happy if you can tell us where she is, ma. We've suffered a lot. Please, we need your assistance. <laughs> what is the matter with all of you? I'm not going to tell you where Bukola is. No, I'm repeating myself. I am not going to tell you where Bukola is. Now, please. Please, tell us where she is. If only for the sake of the children. Please. please. How did you locate this place? And who told you that I live here? <laughs> Madam, nothing is hidden under the sky. We conducted our investigations thoroughly and we were told you live here. <laughs> okay, you are welcome. But I don't want you to tell my husband that I live here. I don't want to set my eyes on him again. And we brought a message from him to you. <laughs> Please, keep your message. I don't want to listen to any message. Your husband had an accident. Accident? <laughs> ah. So where is he now? Madam, don't be worried. He's still alive. 
after you packed out of your matrimonial home, he was frantically looking for you. In the course of such search, he had an accident that confined him to the wheelchair. <laughs> this is not the time to cry, but to get solution to the present problem. My husband, he doesn't deserve this, this suffering that he's going through. Madam, we've resuscitated the business of your husband. And he owns the majority share, and he has nominated you to be the chairperson. <laughs> Me? Yes, you. We have rallied around him. We need you to join the rescue team. By the grace of God, we shall smile at the end of the day. Don't cry. This is the time your husband and your children need to. I shouldn't have left you. I just can't explain what got into me. I'm the cause of your present predicament. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's all right. I knew why you left. You were under an intense pressure. And that was why I went looking all over the place for you. So that you will not come to any harm. Hmm. And it is in this process that that I <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I, I want you to please help me take over the management of that business. I'm not physically fit enough to take those burdens anymore. I'm guilty. I feel ashamed of myself. I will take up the job. I will. And I pray that the business will bounce back once again. I'm sorry to have disappointed you. I'm really sorry. It's all right. It's okay. Just get up and sit down. It's all right. Hello? Who is this? This is Cosmas. How's my friend? So what can I do for you? Uh, madam, it appears you are still very bitter. Please forgive me. I want to help the family. I want us to meet somewhere privately to discuss and find areas where I can help the family financially. Me? Meet you privately somewhere? Do you think I'm one of those women you mess around with? Oh, madam, you are getting me wrong. Madam, you are getting me wrong. You are not serious. Hello? Ha! This is incredible. Ha <laughs> Darling, this is just too fantastic. Ha! Listen to this. The half year operating results for the company shows a 70% increase in turnover. Hey, hey, hey. And profit before tax also rose by 90%. This is serious. And 70% of the debts have been wiped out. No, no, this is incredible. I can't believe this. It is lots doing. Of course. Darling, from the look of things, I'm very sure the company should post a very good trading result at the end of the year. Ah, honestly, this is an impressive report. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. And it only shows one thing, darling, that you have worked conscientiously hardly to ensure that you lift the company 
from the realms of the mud, and you have set it upon the rock. You know what, darling? You have always been a thing of pride to me. And I want to tell you I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thanks for the compliment. By the special grace of God, I believe that the sky is the limit for the company. Mm. Thank you very much, darling. Wonderful. So how long will this last? Ask the physiotherapist. Hopefully, soonest. Hmm. Hopefully, soonest. Manufacturers of the Airbus would like you to have a physical inspection mm -hmm. of the configuration of the new aircraft we are purchasing from the company. Reservation also has been made for you on the flight to France tomorrow morning. <laughs> Do these people think I'm a robot? I came from Germany last night and they want me to be in France tomorrow morning. No, it's not possible. I will have to shave this trip. There's an urgency attached to the trip, ma. The manufacturers will not meet the deadline for the delivery of our aircraft if you do not give them the go-ahead. And that means revenue losses to us. You're right. Absolutely right. Okay. Hmm. I need to attend the board meeting. A quick okay. reminder, ma'am, that the MD of the Mega Force Bank mm. will be expecting you for the meeting. Scheduled for five later this evening. Please remind me about that later. Okay. All right, ma'am. Please, tell my driver to be on standby, All right. okay? Ah. 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 Mother! Ah. Ma Kill me! Kill me! Mother! Kill me! Yeah. God is in control. I hope so. Yeah. I'm sure. God is in control. Hmm? I hope so. Yes. I'm waiting for the doctor. Not come in. I'm sure. Ah, doctor. How is she? Um, we had to sedate her. Mm -hmm. She has been under a lot of tension for a considerable period of time. Mm. Um, we are still carrying out our tests and examinations, but whatever be the findings, it was due to triggered by stress. Hmm. And I hope she's not hypertensive. Oh, well, a lot of reasons could be account for a rise in blood pressure. But it's too early to reach a conclusion yet. I saw cancer queried on one of our diagnosis forms. I hope... Oh, well, that was queried just because we were still doing our investigations. <sighs> but there's no need to be anxious. Uh, I hope it's nothing serious. Hmm? No, 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 no. We have everything under control. <laughs> it's in control. I hope so. According to the articles of association of the company, uh, the chairman who is the majority shareholder, We'll have to appoint someone in place of the incumbent MD who is in this post. Hmm. Hmm. It's a very difficult decision for me to take. However, the health of my wife is very important and it comes first. That's right. I've given the matter a due consideration. And with the approval of the directors, I wish to appoint my younger brother, Kele Bolayemi, to act in the place of my wife. Uh, my chairman, sir, I want to believe you've chosen right, sir. Mm. And I, for one, does not have anything against your nominee. I hope he will put in his full commitment, like Mrs. Olayemi, to justify his appointment. I don't have any objection. That's right. The chairman's nominee is aware of the challenges ahead of him. I have no doubt he will justify the confidence to his appointment. Please prepare a voucher for the purchase of four new tires for my jeep. But sir, the ones in use were bought less than two months ago. Will you do as I instruct you? Yes, sir. And um, you have to prepare another voucher for a round trip to London, Ontario, New Zealand. I'll spend a week. Is that okay? Under what head do I put the trip? 
Because the company has no business in the three places you mentioned, sir. <laughs> and whom does the company do business with? Um, mainly with the manufacturer of our aircraft in France. Then with our suppliers in Frankfurt, in Germany. Oh, I see. I understand it. So you want to run this company and make me a puppet on a string? I'm sorry, sir. Next time you question my authority, you will lose your job. Get out of my sight. Excuse me, sir. <sighs> Darling, the company is in red. It cannot meet its financial obligation. Is that so? I just can't understand. Let me have a look. <sighs> No, no. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Darling, I'm very sure it's Caleb's political means of management that brought about this predicament. Hmm. Huh? And remember, this house is one of the collaterals that we used to access the loan we injected into the company. Now that you mentioned collateral, I've been trying to keep this away from you. Just yesterday, the bank brought this, telling us that we put this house on auction if we do not pay within the next hour. Ah, uh, here we go again. It's all right. Here we go again. No, 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 no. Here look, look, again. look, look. I don't want you to walk yourself up unnecessarily again. <sighs> Remember, you are just coming out of a very serious sickness. <laughs> and I don't want you to go ahead to complicate matters. Hmm? <laughs> It's very painful. I know. And it's very sad. Yes, I know. To think that all my efforts have come to nothing. No, no, no. Nothing. It won't come to nothing. Our God is on his throne. He changed it not. He did it before. And I know he will do it again. It's all right. <sighs> Bukola. 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 You need to wake up from your midday slumber. Do you want Jesus Christ to come down from heaven before you know that certain demonic forces are working against your progress? Auntie, running a company is not a one-man show. We need to put people there, trusted people. Then everything will be running smoothly. <laughs> the problem with you and your husband is that you always believe that whenever you put two plus two, you must always come out with four. Nonsense. Tell me, why would some people come out with answers three, two, or one? Bukola, we are living in an imperfect world. Even Christ attested to that. That was why he was nailed to the cross. Auntie, the harm has been done. What is the way out? Good. I'm happy that you're now coming back to your senses. Now that you believe and agree with me that we are indeed living in an imperfect world. Listen, a worldly problem requires a worldly solution. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'll take you to an old but powerful spiritualist. Oh? <sighs> the day he will not find a solution to a problem, the spiritualist has assured me that day he is going to bid the world goodbye. Eh? <laughs> Seeing is believing. You need to see how men of power and position trip in and out of his house. Ministers of God, under the cover of the night, visit him. In fact, that is why I believe in him. He is God sent. I don't think my husband will support that. What? He will not support. Fine. Fine. After all, the problem is yours. Keep on bearing your cross alone. Thank you, Auntie. Mr. Hino, 
I bet you have to give me more time. As you can see, I'm going through a very, very crucial and trying period of my life. Honestly, we have given you enough time. And uh, we have to put up your ass on unction. This decision is from the emerging director and the management. Ha! Huh. But, but, but can't we uh, uh, talk, 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 I mean, can't we just... Oh my God. Look, I believe in God. And I'm trusting him that we should be able to meet up with the monthly installment in the repayment of the loan. Mr. Ha, you know, why don't we discuss amicably? Why not? Engineer Laemi, don't let us take this matter personal. There's nothing to resolve amicably. I will just be sent to deliver this message and that's just what we come to do. If you don't mind, sir, we'd like to take a leave. My friend, anointing indeed. <laughs> anointing without money is annoyance. Do you now see what I told you? <laughs> you, you, okay, we shall live to see. I know, I know, Father, that you will deliver me from the hands of the wicked. I overstretch myself to keep that company afloat. It is sad that now I don't have good health. <laughs> now we are losing our properties and every other thing that God has helped us to build over the number of years. I just can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. I can't take it. I really sympathize with you, madam. But I want you to understand that you are not the first to feel this way. It has happened to some great men of God in the Bible. But because they stood firmly with God, they had cause to rejoice at the end of the day. One of such men is uh, Job, which I know you know very well about. Job lost everything he had, everything, yet he stood firmly with God. He did not deny God, and God restored everything he lost back unto him. Madam, I believe you rejoice at the end, because the psalmist says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Honestly, Pastor, I'm chattered. I feel like ending it all. I feel I should die. Ah, uh, come on, madam. Don't think that way. Don't. Don't let circumstances weigh you down. You should live independent of circumstances. Please, madam, I don't want you to be a thermometer Christian. Please. Now, I want you to understand that you must rejoice, both in sadness and joy. The book of Acts chapter 20 verse 19 says that we will serve the Lord with tears and temptation. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do with problem here and there. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know. Madam, I want to assure you that you will testify with joy in Jesus' name. Toby! Toby! Yes, mommy? Please come. Please, go 
to the nearest pharmacy store and get me these drugs. All right. Okay? Please drive carefully. Okay? children. Titi has hearing impairment. Ayomeku is on life support mansion. Toby is in prison. We have lost our house. Our shelter, all our properties. <laughs> we were steadfast in the church, giving our tithes and offerings. Of what benefit are we? Still worshiping God, of what benefit? I said precisely that when my heart was troubled. But I have since repented of my sin. Because the Bible says in Hebrews 10 verse 38, the just shall live by faith. But that if any man draws back, my God will have no pleasure in him. Shall we receive good of the Lord? And shall we not taste of the evil thereof? What we need is faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 1, that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If a man does not have faith, then he cannot go far with God. I see to your point. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing should make us get disconnected from God. Oh, thank you, darling. All we need is faith. And what has happened to Toby again? There's more to all this than meets the eyes. All these calamities cannot be acts of God. I believe Satan is out tormenting you. <laughs> auntie, Auntie! Huh? Look, Auntie, I hold a contrary view to yours. The Bible says, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I know, I know, but all this... What can separate us from the love of our Lord Jesus Christ? Is it tribulations? Is it death? The Bible says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Yes. You know what? You're talking like this because you have not seen the other side of life. I know of a good minister of God who can quote the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. But he comes secretly to Baba. We meet there. But, but, but who, who is Baba? Baba is the greatest spiritualist in town that I know. And nobody, I repeat, nobody has ever taken any problem to Baba without getting a solution instantly. No matter the magnitude of the problem. Uh -huh. So, what are you... I'm saying, we need not hesitate again. 
I will take you there right no, away. No, 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 Auntie, no. <laughs> no. As far as we are concerned, Auntie, we stand upon God's promise. Oh boy, take it easy. Okay. Carry it very well. The block <laughs> must not break. Oh boy, arrange that blocks very well. Oh yeah, yeah, be fast. Let's do it. Just take it easy. Tired. Ah, you will soon rest. We have to work hard. Work very well, please. Father Lord, I know a life was lost through me. But please forgive me my sins. Let the soul of the little girl rest in peace. Comfort the family. Be their support in times of grief and agony. Father, pardon me and forgive me my sins. Toby! Toby! Yes, sir. You have a visitor waiting for you at the reception hall. Yes, Let's sir. go. Thank you, sir. Follow me. Guys, I'm coming, though. Okay. I'm also happy. Oh, you've lost so much weight. Oh, this is not a good place at all. It is not a good place. Let's not talk about that. Daddy said this great thing. Daddy? Yeah. How is he? He's fine. Is everything going well? He's okay. Please don't cry, Mommy. <laughs> don't cry. Please. Please don't cry. Sir, the nerves are badly affected. Hmm. They, they are not responding to treatment at all. Sir, you see, we need to do something urgently. You need to seek medical services abroad. Huh? What? A -a abroad, you say? Yes. The reason is that the medical facilities needed for the therapy are not available here. Oh my God. What do I do now? Doctor. Yes, madam. But you know what we have been going through. Where do we find money for medical treatment abroad? Hmm. Friends, relations, business associates, they've all deserted us. We don't have anyone except God. <laughs> please, doctor. Doctor, please. Assist Madam. us. Assist us. Madam, I really sympathize with you. But I know everything will be alright very soon. Just put your trust in the Lord and keep praying. It's alright, madam. Elderly patients in tears. Elderly patient? Yes. Oh, you mean the man on wheelchair? You see, the injury to his spinal cord can only be treated abroad, and they can't afford it. The man's face looks familiar. Really? I think I've met him somewhere before. Yeah. He's an engineer by the name Biola Olayemi. Does it ring a bell? No. Mm, wait a minute. I think I remember. Wait, let me find out first. I'm coming, I'm coming, let me find out. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, 
me, sir? Yes, please. I'm sure I've met you before. Um, I'm sorry, madam, I cannot remember, but it's not impossible. But I can't remember precisely uh, where. Some times ago, you took me in your cab to my cousin's residence at the government reserved area. Government reserved area? Yes. Government reserved. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, 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 I, I remember. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, it's all right, madam. The no money mention. is complete. I'm happy the money is intact. Ah, huh? Thank you. You <laughs> really made my day. It's my pleasure, madam. Da, 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 da. Sir, this for you. What's this for, madam? To show my appreciation. Oh no, you wouldn't have bothered. Oh, please. <laughs> madam, no, no, no. Please. I cannot take it. I and I must not take it. Please. I appreciate you, madam. I must be on my way now. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank madam. you very much. It's just my pleasure. God, <laughs> you are a real brave. Thank you very much, madam. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. The bag contained 50,000 US dollars. Hmm. You insisted that the money be counted right there in your presence to prove that you did not remove even a dollar from it. As I was counting the money, I was looking at you because it is very, very rare to see someone returning such a huge amount of money back to the owner. My sister is God. It is God. Thank you. This is unbelievable. So God has used my patience to turn an obvious grief to joy. You know what? If you have not received your money back that time, you wouldn't have built your house, you know? Ah! I will have been devastated. Huh. <laughs> to God be the glory. Tayo. Yes, Auntie. I owe your patience. I am indebted to him. Sir, I'll make sure you get your treatment abroad. Eh? Ah! Madam? Wait, wait a minute. Did, did, did you say abroad? Yes. I am indebted to you. I'll make sure you get the best treatment in Nigeria here while I run around to make sure that I get your travel paper in a couple of days. Hmm. Yes. Ma ma madam, I I'm, 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 uh, thank you very much, madam. We thank God. May the good Lord re reward you abundantly. Amen. 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 Madam, I'm short of words to express my gratitude. I pray that God ah, reward your doings. Amen. 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 Mother, the pleasure is mine. Ah, Father. One good turn deserves another anyway.
right here and healthy, I want you to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. What a friend we have in Jesus. Just like the choir has given us a song. What a friend we have in Jesus. I want us to know that Jesus loves you. He loves me. He loves every one of us. And that was why he said, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. He said, whatever. He did not say you should ask for finances alone. He did not say you should ask for academics alone. He did not say you should ask for my talk. Uh, he used a loan. He said, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do. This is an open check. Jesus Christ has given us an open check. All that we need to do is just fill in what we want. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, what do you want? How much do you want? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Jesus says, Come to me, all who thirst, and I will give you the water of life. This you can see in Revelation chapter, two, uh, uh, chapter 22, verse 17. Are you hungry? He says, he who eats the flesh and drinks the blood of the Son of Man will live forever. And this you can see in the book of John, chapter 6, verse 54. I'm glad to see you, Asabi. Okay, brother. <coughs> Gently, brother. <coughs> Gently. When did this start? Should have sent someone to inform me. It started some few days ago. I've taken some apps, okay. and I believe everything will be all right. There is nothing to worry about. Don't me share. Sorry, gently. Don't me share. Gently, yes, Papa. Please bring water for Mama. Okay, Papa. As I was saying, brother, mm. I did not go there to inquire about Viola's case. I was there to seek for my own good and my family's protection when Biola's matter came up. Is that so? Yes. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my son. God bless you. Uh, uh, please continue. The witch doctor said you should talk to our brother. That the evil world wants him and his family dead. Hmm. Wipe off from this world. And if I may miss it, those people that claim that he offended them are not ready to forgive him. And that he will not work again. That if care is not taken, we will use our hand to bury him. God forbid. What is my use on this earth if I see my brother die? Ah. When will Biola agree with all what you have been telling him? Ah. Uh, Asabi. Yes, brother. You will have to go to the city and tell him all what Fabi said into details. Me to go to him? I can't go. I can't go. Remember how he disgraced us when we advised him to come to the village to see that Baba? Let him hold on to his Jesus. Or what is his name? Therefore, my people in the Lord, you can change your own situation. You can change your own circumstances. It is all in your hands. So what are you waiting for? Have faith in the Lord. The Bible says if you have faith, even as small as that of a mustard seed, you will tell the mountain to move, and it will move. All you need is faith. I want you to speak to your situation and call those things that be not as though they were. You have, you have a God-given right because you are a Christian. A born-again Christian with the Spirit of God on the side of you, that still small voice is there. He's going to teach you. He's going to lead you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So why don't you decide right now what you want to change? The Holy Spirit will never, for information, the Holy Spirit will never change the situation for you. Not until you yourself have made up your mind to change the situation. Not until you have made up your mind that you are fed up with your present situation. Not until you tell God, ah, God, I'm fed up. I don't want this situation again. Now, whatever you want to change, call it differently with your mouth. If your husband has a stinking attitude, call him sweet. If your children are nasty to you, start confessing. My children are sweet and nice. Remember, the Spirit of God lives on the inside of you. <laughs> and you must confess victory. If your body is weak, call yourself strong. 
The Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. Joel 3, verse 10. If you know you are not worshipping the Lord enough, you will feel you are, not, you are not loving God enough. Margaret, Margaret, Jesus, can know. you see what I'm saying? Where is Jesus, it? I want to worship. Look at you. Start confessing you know the things that you were not doing before, so that they can get from the inside of He's you and become part of you. And how do you get this? He looks so pale. Ah, ah, I couldn't even recognize him. That way, you become I part of a very terrible thing before you find yourself in a situation that is yes. not palatable. You'll be able to have the mm. dynamics of, of the word of God. Why are you beating them? When things was rosy. The Praise husband the and wife were so Praise proud. The hmm. yeah. now, they think the whole world belongs to them. Hmm. I don't have any you listen to the spirit of God. Ah. How I wish every people day, would learn every from morning, the mistake hour. that befell them and watch their own steps too. It isn't what you want that so matters to God. It isn't what you want that really matters at this point. But what God wants. What the spirit of God wants. That means you must be led by the spirit of God. Every day, every night, let the spirit of God lead you. You don't have to accept the thing that the devil gives to you. You have, to, you have the right to call those things which be not as though they were. Jesus Christ never accepted the things of the devil. He never accepted the things of Satan. Otherwise, he would have accepted the death of Lazarus. After dying on the third day, the third day Jesus Christ did what? He rose him up. So that means, if Jesus Christ did not accept the devil's plans and purpose for his life, you too must not have accepted. He says, <laughs> That if you believe the things he did, we too can do. Greater want. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, as a matter of fact, I want you to know that you can't find anywhere in the Bible that Jesus Christ has with the devil. And, and if you have ever read the book of Revelation, you will know that the devil will ultimately be cast into the lake of fire. And so will death. Revelation chapter 20 verse 10 and 14 says, There will, will, will be the last enemies to be destroyed. So, Jesus Christ is not bound to agree with them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Serve me the news hot. The operation that my husband went for was successful. Really? Yes. So he's as fit as fiddle now. It is lost to him. Ah. The neurologist assured him that his chances of working is very high. Hmm? Wonder shall never end. I never gave him a chance, you know. <sighs> I'm so relieved. But you see, I'm also worried. Auntie, what is it again? Oh, Pukola, you don't seem to understand my source of concern for you. God has been so merciful to us. What else can we wish for? Hmm. What about the cancer? Your cancer? I'm worried about your state of health. Ah, hello, darling. Oh, it's you, darling. Good morning. I'm on my way to the church. Your voice sounds a bit hoarse. It's the cold weather here. So how are you and uh, everybody over there? We are all fine. We are fine. You sound excited. Of course. I am excited. So excited. You, you know, Tunde, Nika's husband, just called me a couple of minutes ago to break the news to me of a safe delivery of a quadruplet by his wife. Eh? Quadruplets? Yes. We thank God. Boys or girls? Two boys. Two girls. You can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so where is he in Canal? Um, she's still in the hospital. She'll be discharged in another three days because she had a self-delivery. No complication whatsoever at all. Yeah. Grandpa of quadruplets. We thank God. <laughs> thank you. And congratulations, Grandma of Quadruplex. <laughs> <laughs> so where is Tunde? Uh, yes, uh, Tunde is on duty. Mm, it's about an hour drive away. I'll tell him to call you as soon as he returns. Huh? That is fine by me. 
I will be expecting his call. Okay. I hang on now. I'll call you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. I love you. I love you too. Madam, will you please give me the right of the way, please? I've come to seek for forgiveness. I learned the bank has taken over your property. Have you come to rejoice over that? Why are you not the cause of our problems? Madam, take this bank draft. It is worth 20 million naira. Please pay back the debt to hold the bank and recover your property. Please, Madam, do it. Do it quickly before the bank auctions your house. Please. I'm too ashamed to stay a minute longer in your presence. I'll phone you later. What's that, Ben? We made a mistake. Hmm? What a blunder. Do you remember one Eginola Emi that we took to court? Oh, yes. He was discharged and acquitted because of want of evidence. The document for the consignment he ordered has just arrived. Ah! Huh? With an apology that they were wrongfully shipped to Côte d'Ivoire due to a mixed up during the labeling of the containers. I've just sent for one engineer like me to produce his documents so that he can clear his goods. Oh! I never realized it was this same engineer like me we took to court. Oh! Cool. The same man! I now believe God intervened in that man's favor because I never thought I would lose that case. You know, the Bible says for a man that perseveres, there is a great price. And this is a promise God will fulfill. Good afternoon, officers. Oh. Uh, what have we done this time oh, around? Good afternoon, sir. You good sent for me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. In the first instance, we would like to apologize for taking you to court. The documents of your goods has just arrived. And the shipping company regrets that there was a mix-up in the labeling of your container and the consignment was wrongly sent to Côte d'Ivoire. Sir, they've sent in $100,000 as compensation and with a letter of apology. And they saddle with the responsibility of paying all other bills. Sir, we deeply sorry, we sincerely sorry, sir. Please forgive us, sir. Talk of the days of the locust. God is replenishing all that we lost. Yes, glory, glory be, be to us. God. Hallelujah.
Yes, who is that? Oh, Basi, come right in. Come, come, come and hear this. Wonderful. What is it? You can't believe this. This letter is from the manufacturer of our brand of aircraft. Mm -hmm. The company is apologizing for the default discovered in our brand of aircraft. Mm -hmm. And the company is defraying all expenses incurred by the owner, effective from the date of delivery. Meaning? It only means the company will be paying all maintenance expenses incurred by the owner for which the planes were impounded. And that means we will be having our planes back. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. Honestly, My you My Lord, I thank you. Our Lord works in miraculous ways. Look, that is not all, darling. That is not all. The manufacturers, after paying back all our debts, you, you know, they will now recall the old planes and replace them with brand new ones. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the most pleasant songs I've had for years. Me too. Oh, look, I think you have... Okay, this other one is for you. Oh, God! Ah, I only wish I continued to have these pleasant songs. God, you're just wonderful. This is unbelievable. What? There's another one here. Is that all? With sweeter melody. What do you mean by that? This is the result of the scan I did two days ago. So, what, what is the result saying? Hmm, there is no more trace of cancer. It's a lie. The letter says, no more trace of cancer. Wonderful! Ah, ah. the Lord works in a mysterious way. God has made us whole again. Hmm. Our afflictions are gone in a miraculous way. Ha! Ah. Father, I thank you. Father, you are the greatest. This is beyond human understanding. Did you say that? <sighs> Darling, God is restoring back to us all we have lost in the years that the swarm of locusts ate up our crops. Now we will have plenty to eat mm. and be satisfied. Our God is wonderful. Our God is miraculous. <sighs> we shall worship Him all the days of our lives. <sighs> Just listen to this. We were forsaken. We were desolate. We were forgotten. We were mocked. We became the ridicule even in the midst of our people. But over the night, just suddenly, the Lord turned around the table. Mm. Oh, ah. all he requires of us is to praise him. Thank God. And Father, I say we will praise you. All the days of our lives, Father, we will worship and bless you. You are worthy. Ah. You are glorious. You are perfect. You are beautiful. Hmm. The mighty, almighty. Ah. I am that I am. Mommy! Mommy! Toby! Mommy! Toby! Ha! I have been released. How did you get here? Let me show you this. I am now free. You've been given a parole. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Daddy must hear this. Yes. Come. Our Father, we never. On that day, they brought out so many people to you. People that were sick. People that were filled with evil spirit. You cast out demons. You healed them, they say. Father, today, 
We want you to confirm your handsome promise. Father Lord, we want you to perform signs and wonders. Father, heal the idol. Father, heal your child, the old Lord. Because we believe that we should do all is possible. Miracles today. Father Lazarus died. And on the fourth day, you rose him up. Father Lord, with you all things are possible. Father, heal your child, oh Lord. Father, heal your child, Lord. Father. wonders at his own appointed time. Father Lord, I believe that with you all things are It's a miracle. Darling, hmm? miracle has happened. Eh? What do you say? Ayomiko is eh? no more on life support machine. Ha! Ayomiko ah. no more on life support machine? He's alive. Tell me, tell me. How did it happen? I didn't know how it happened. Oh Lord, my God. You're so good. Forever. Oh Lord. Your word is settled in heaven. It is settled. Our God is just reviving everything around us. Thank God. But, darling, could it be that the dreams I had some few days ago are now coming to realities? What again do I have to live for? Why didn't I die in my mother's womb? Why? Why did God preserve my soul? Why did they set my feet on wealth and comfort only to impoverish me? To remain poor is preferable to tasting wealth and becoming poor. Oh God, take my life. It is not worth it. I want to die. I want to die because what I dread most in life is happening to me. I worship God and reverence Him at all times. I attend church regularly. I pay my tithes. I give generously to you. I confess my sins and I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Why? Why is He then putting me to this great suffering? Why? The Lord of hosts! He's not interested in your self-righteousness. If you are coming to him, 
You must not give him your terms. He has his terms, which you must abide with. But, do you know my thoughts? <laughs> it is just a gift. I've gone through tribulations, trials, denials, temptations. Yet by my own estimation, I have done nothing to warrant the torments, tribulations and troubles I'm going through. Nobody. nobody. I repeat, I repeat. Nobody, nobody argues, argues with God, God and we. Who is man, who is man anyway? anyway? A man, a that, man is that is born, born of born woman. Of woman. It's a few, it's a few days, 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 days and, 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 and full, full of troubles. Of troubles. Uh, uh, sir, since you have answers to all my questions, uh, uh, I think I can talk to you directly. Eh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Ask your questions. Sir, the suffering is becoming unbearable for me. If this is the wish of God, let him take my life this moment, so I can rest. Man, Man comes like flower, and, flower, and is cut off. He flees he just flees like a shadow, like shadow, 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 shadow. And, and, and continues, continues not. not, 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 not. You, cannot you cannot ask God to take your life, your life, your life, your life, your life. Just, just as you cannot, you cannot ask him, him, him to make to the make sun rise and shine at night. You are a man of little faith. But, but I, I. Where are you? Where are you? But I still have some other questions. Go. My instinct tells me Bankoli Okikiolu is behind my misfortune. Could it be Body whom I cautioned not to perform money making rituals? Ah. Uh, could it be my family members in the village? Oh, I, I think it may be one of my wife's stepsisters who complained bitterly that we missed her Christmas present few years ago. But why? Why must she cast out this pain? Why? My, my son, son, none, none of, those of those men are behind, behind the walls. Life is a time of probation, a time of tests and trials, a time of persecution and suffering, a time of patience, endurance, and unceasing labor, a time of refining and preparation for a glorious future. My son, you are facing the test of faith. I tested the job. He remains steadfast in faith. So also the lead. You did not deny me in spite of your sovereigns. You have been faithful to me. I mean, I, I can't explain it. This is a surprise. Oh my God. Wonderful. What's going on? I don't know. Karma. Ah. Now I understand. He intervened in Joshua's issues. And he turned his team into glory. He's doing for us what he did for Joshua. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Ha! Huh. 
Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. I am that I am. There is no one like you. Honestly, doctor, I'm short of words to express my appreciation for your care and interest in the welfare of my son, Ayomiko. May God bless you. Amen. Doctor, thank you very much for your care and concern towards our son. And I pray that God will bless everyone working in this hospital. Amen. You see, it's been my pleasure. Um, Ayomiko. Yes, sir. Remember not to do any strenuous activity, at least for some time now. Okay, sir. And uh, you have to take your medications accordingly. Okay, sir. Uh, one other thing. Um, you must come for regular medical checkup, as we indicated in your card. You understand? Thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Very good. Um, no, sir. You have to go get... I don't have water for you. Eh? Oh. Please. please. Please give me. Please give me water. I said I don't have water for you. Please. I, I beg you in the name of God. Give me water. Go away. I don't have water for you.
so that I do on that day. I will deny you of the water of life if you don't turn away from your evil ways. You have traded your eternity for things of the world, and the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give up to him that is thirst of a fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things. And I will be his God, and shall be my son. But the fearful, unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and warmongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fires and brimstone, which is the second death. Somebody help me! Eh, that was the voice of the Lord. You are absolutely right. Exactly what the pastor told me the following morning when I went to him to tell him my dreams. He told me that Jesus loves me. And that that was why he revealed himself to me in my dream. So that I could have a change of heart. Hmm. Bukola, the pains of the divorce blindfolded me so much. Hmm. And the children overseas did not make the matter any better. I had no one to talk to. But even you, that I could not going through hard times. <sighs> what friend we have? Jesus. He's always there for us. Oh. We should entrust all that to him instead of fighting over them. Thank you very much. <sighs> Brethren, that was my testimony. It was through this trial, test, and temptation that I moved very close to God. And God touched my heart. Hallelujah. And I became an ordained pastor. That is why my family and I are giving thanks to God today. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. My brethren in the Lord, I want to ask you a question. Is there anything too hard for God to do? No. No, absolutely. I pray for anyone here today who may be going through tests, trials, tribulation, or temptation, that God may give such trouble so, the strength through the Holy Spirit to overcome. Amen. The prayer for anyone going through tests, trials, or temptation can be found in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, which says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope, the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 May God break any yoke of bondage in your life. Amen. May he strengthen you in a time of distress. Amen. May he renew your hope afresh. Amen. May the Lord abide with you always. Amen. Now, I want the choir to sing songs of praises because it is good to praise the Lord all the time. Yes. Mary.